Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here, sharing the Orlog strategy that I used to win at the Sigurblot Festival. And this works against any Orlog opponent because it doesn't matter what dice they roll or god favors they use. You only need to worry about Eivor's dice and the Thor's strike god favor. So the strategy is easy to follow and fun to use and very often it will result in a victory. But of course not 100% guaranteed because luck is involved. So in the first roll here I'm going to select the dice with the hand on it and the arrow that has the red border around it. So the core of the strategy is whenever you roll a hand or a dice with a red border around it, you want to keep that. There were none in that roll. And then in the third roll, all my dice are just going to get selected. And the reason I'm keeping anything with a hand or the red border is to collect as many of those gold god tokens as possible. The dice with the red border are going to get you a god token and the dice with the hand will steal a god token from your opponent. And as a refresher, the helmet will block the axe and the shield will block the arrow. Those are what the other faces mean. And of course the object of the game is to deal enough damage to destroy all your opponent's health stones before yours are destroyed. And I'm actually losing right now. I've lost three of my 12 health and my opponent has only lost one. So now I have enough god favors to cast Thor's Strike at level one, but I'm actually gonna wait until I have more because the second part of the strategy after collecting god favors is to wait until you have 12 god favors to cast Thor Strike at level three because you actually do get some bonus damage when you use level two or three. A lot of the other guides that I've seen recommend just casting Thor Strike as often and as quickly as possible, but it's actually more efficient to save up tokens to cast it at the max power. Or at least that's what I found to be the most effective, but if you have other strategies that you're using, let me know in the comments. I'm always curious to see how people are playing Orlog. And now I have enough god tokens to cast Thor Strike at level 2. And if you hover over the Thor Strike, you'll see I can cast level 1 for 4 tokens. I can cast level 2 for 8 tokens, but I'm still holding out till I have 12 tokens and can cast level three. The reason being, if you cast level one, you're spending four tokens to deal two damage. So you're only getting a half a point damage per token. But if you wait until you have enough for level three, you spend 12 tokens to deal eight damage. So you're actually getting bonus damage per token. I should have enough after this hand. And you don't have to try to compute it in your head. You can just hover over the Thor Strike token. And if you see the third option highlighted, it means you can select it. So the game will compute whether you're going to have enough tokens after the resolution and it won't let you select level three unless you're going to have enough. And so now I can select level three, Thor Strike, for 12 tokens I'm going to deal eight damage to my opponent. So now we're actually evenly matched. We each have 10 life tokens left. I just lost three. And now I'm going to deal eight damage to my opponent. So now he only has two health remaining. And once you cast Thor Strike for eight tokens at level three, like I just did, it's okay to cast it at a lower level 
if you want, especially if the opponent only has a couple stones left and you want to just finish him off. But the important part is to wait until you can cast level three the first time. So now I'm going to cast Thor Strike for four tokens to finish off the enemy and take the victory. Well fought. That was a close battle. I would like a rebound. And this victory won me 30 festival tokens. And you can play Orlog as many times as you want and keep getting those 30 tokens. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.